Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, today we'll be unboxing and doing a quick review on the Bose SoundLink Mini 2. Um, this device just, uh, I happened to notice the other day at our wholesale club uh, that was there. Seemed like a pretty good price point on it. Um, price is about uh, 149 and I believe that's a drop from previous uh, for the SoundLink Mini 2. Um, this has been out, I think, for a year or so, maybe even longer than that. Um, but uh, happened to actually get a chance to test it. It was in the store um, with the, the play and forward button, so you can actually listen to the device uh, live. Sounded amazing um, in the store. And uh, brought it home, bought it. I'm going to be replacing a previous version of a uh, mini speaker. I actually have several mini speakers uh, average speakers that I've been buying, you know, I want to say range under 50 bucks, uh, every now and then when they get them in there, the iHome series and, uh, things of that nature. But, uh, um, the one that I'm going to be replacing for this particular one, uh, which is almost identical in size is going to be, uh, the mini jam box. Um, just, I've had this one for a couple of years and it just seems to be losing its oomph. Uh, speaker wise never really uh, played it past you know where it should have been played to distortion just average uh, volumes but it just seems like it's been dying off in volume and clarity lately so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get this one unboxed uh, we'll show you the size the features things like that and uh, the weight on it uh, this this device actually is pretty hefty I mean it, it does weigh in comparison to like a previous speaker and we'll, we'll get it on a scale and we'll see exactly what it weighs uh, item here. Uh, looks like we have the uh, safety instructions on this, the typical how to guide. And from what I've understand from this, it is fairly simple to hook this up. Uh, to a Bluetooth device, um, selecting the language by simply just plugging it in. Uh, so don't expect it to be too difficult to get it paired with a device. Uh, we have our uh, cable, our charging, uh, the charging station for the device, uh, which I really like. Uh, you no longer have to fumble around and uh, put the cord into the back of the device. You just simply set it on the, the docking station uh, to charge the device. and the actual Bose speaker. As you can see, there's the charge ports in the bottom corner and they simply just line up with the appropriate size and it starts to charge the second you stick it on. And it does say SoundLink Mini. Yeah, fairly, fairly hefty I would say on the weight. Go ahead and get a scale on that and see how it compares to the jam box mini all right we'll go ahead and just uh, weigh the little jam box here and the jam box is coming in at one pound 1 1.9 ounces and we'll go ahead and throw the bows on the scale and the bows is coming in at one pound 7.4 ounces so it is a little bit heavier uh, maybe it's uh, the components the speakers you know gives it that little bit of extra uh, sound quality to it and you know Bose items from my opinion have always been uh, uh, very good with the audio uh, reproduction uh, the sound quality um, and from previous it is a lot uh, just using the jam box for the last several years uh, noticeably different uh, uh, on the Bose product uh, for the quality and the audio Battery 100% connected to Cathod's iPod. See, and that's also very nice that it actually tells you the battery percentage and when it's connected to a Bluetooth device um, uh, right out of the box. And, and I apologize that uh, I already unboxed this and checked it out and listed the sound quality as soon as I got it home uh, the other day. Uh, that's why it is already paired. Uh, but as soon as you power it up, uh, it tells you uh, English uh, press the uh, the select button in the middle here, and that's pretty much it. And then uh, it tells you the Bluetooth name, 
what to look for in your Bluetooth settings, then go ahead and pair it. Uh, and the device is as easy as just uh, uh, connecting these two cables together here, uh, selecting the, the smaller end of this and plugging it directly into the back of the docking station. And then you simply just dock the device such as that, and then it starts uh, charging. Uh, the battery will last 10 hours uh, when you do remove it from the docking station. At what volume? I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't tested that yet to see exactly how long it lasts at three-quarter volume. Uh, but the manual in the, in the box does say it will last for uh, 10 hours of play uh, off of the docking station. Now here you can see the actual size comparison uh, next to each other for the Bose uh, versus the Jambox Mini. So a little bit smaller. Uh, the range on the Bluetooth device actually is pretty far. Um, I was see across the my house diagonally is probably a good 30 feet or so. And the Bose was coming through perfectly fine uh, off of the Bluetooth streaming from my other device. Um, so distance, not gonna be an issue uh, with this device. So some people may be asking, well, you know, I could spend under $50 on a uh, Bluetooth device uh, compared to $150 for, what's, what's the difference? Well, in my opinion, the difference is the sound quality. Uh, this device right here has very good bass reproduction and the sound quality is a lot better uh, than my other uh, mini Bluetooth portable speakers priced around the $50 range or under. Uh, you can definitely tell a difference in the audio quality between the two. And like I said before, the Bose is kind of a premium when it comes to the, the audio quality in a small package. Uh, you're typically, at least from what I've seen, it's, it's, it's hard to find something that comes close to it. They are a little bit pricier, yes, um, but I do believe that you are uh, getting what you pay for. I hope this quick uh, review on the Bose SoundLink Mini 2 uh, helped you out. Uh, please don't forget to like this video or, or not like it. And uh, uh, I'll have more videos coming soon of more gadgets and gears. And have a great day. And please don't forget to subscribe.